Good morning, boys and girls. We're gonna talk about the liturgical year, the colors the church uses throughout the year to depict time. The church prays all year. This week's scripture reminds us about how there is a time for everything and creates an understanding for the seasons in the church year. A time for everything. There's a time for everything under heaven. There's a time to plant, a time to harvest, a time to cry, a time to laugh, a time to rest, a time to work, a time to be silent, and a time to speak. All right. Here we're gonna see priests in the center. And when you looked this, this morning when we had mass on, the priest was wearing a vestment with a certain color. And that color depicts the liturgical year. All right back here, I see April. And that's where we are, May. And it was right after Easter, so the priest probably had on some white and gold today. We won't start, the priest and the church won't be decorated in green, ordinary time, till we start in June. Okay, so what is one thing the church uses to mark time? It uses colors. What does the color purple mean in the church year? It means we're getting ready. So we would wear purple in Advent, the time of Advent, waiting for Christmas, and in Lent, time for waiting for Jesus' resurrection. What does the color purple mean in the church? It means getting ready, okay. And the golden white means celebration, Christmas and Easter. All right, very good. So this says Advent. In Advent, the priest will wear some purple. And in Lent, the priest also wears purple. So the first priest and the third priest, we see the word a a Advent and Lent. And the priest wears purple because it's a time of waiting, getting ready. Christmas is a celebration. And Easter, of course, they'll wear white and they'll wear maybe a little gold, which you could use some yellow if you don't have a gold crayon. And then ordinary time, let's look back here. These are all the months on the liturgical wheel here. We're coming into June, July, August, September, October, November, and towards Thanksgiving, that's when it's Advent, which is six weeks before Christmas, maybe a little bit before Thanksgiving. So you'll see a lot of green in the church, a lot of green on the altar, a lot of green on the, the priest will wear. So that's the ordinary time in our liturgical year. So the church, again, uses colors to mark time. And the seasons of the church year help us to think about and celebrate Christ's life and work of salvation, okay? Um, so there's a point, an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heavens. The catechism teaches us that the life of the church is ordered according to seasons with Sunday as the foundation for the liturgical year. In the cycle of the church year, we re-experience the awaiting that preceded Christ. The celebration of his incarnation, the drama of his death, and the triumph of his resurrection. We just celebrated that on Christmas morning, on, Christ or no, on Easter morning, Jesus' resurrection. Just as the presence of the risen Lord and his saving work permeates the entire church liturgical year throughout the seasons of our lives god is always with us so let's go back in here and let's say this little prayer maybe you'll say this prayer with your family in the name of the father son